I had a chap phone me up a short while ago with a problem over solids. He was designing gates and uh, we couldn't, uh, one of the parts of the gate was not a solid and he couldn't work out why it wasn't solid. I think he'd produced it by uh, drawing a 2D profile and extruding it but it just wasn't looking solid. So um, I asked him to send the drawing over to me so I could have a look at it and, and here it is. I mean this is a very stripped down version of it, I've taken out most of the stuff. So these are parts of a gate and you can see that these one, two, three, four are solids but this piece up here is not. Now the chances are it's because the, the 2D profile uh, was not joined up properly, there's a gap somewhere. But we'll, we'll leave that as an issue. Um, what we want to think about is, okay, well we're having a problem with it, um, so what's what's the problem? Uh, is there another way around it? Put it that way. And there is. And the, the way to do it would be to use the sweep tool. So with the sweep tool you draw a 2D profile, then draw a polyline, click onto the profile, click onto the polyline, and the profile follows the polyline and creates a solid. So first thing we want to do is to draw a, uh, a rectangle on the end of here. So let's have a look see where the work plane is. It's over here somewhere. So I'll do my work plane by facet. I'll come over here and I'll choose that as my work plane. Okay, so that's all right. I can turn that off now. And I'm okay. I'm going to pick up a, uh, a rectangle. Rectangle's on the right click of my mouse. It's called my local menu. And I'm going to draw a rectangle here. In fact, I'm going to zoom in a bit more. I'm going to do a, a keyboard V-snap and V-snap. It's a black on red, obviously, so I can see it. I'm then going to get the uh, 3D spline by fits points. And for the, uh, uh, for the sweep to work, this spine, is, this path must touch the, uh, the 2D profile. So I'm going to do a V-snap here. I'm going to V there, and then I'm going to do N for nearest graphic so that it, it hugs that line as close as I can make it. I'm not going to bother to be too accurate on this, I'm going to, this is just to show you how to do it. Uh, I might do more points, so I'm clicking N on the keyboard, N stands for nearest graphic. And then down to the end and that will be a V snap on the end of that. And then it's a right click and finish. So now I have got a, uh, a rectangle here, a 2D rectangle and a polyline. So now I go to my sweep tool, which is this one here. Not rail sweep, that's another one. I've got sweep, I click onto my polyline and I click onto, uh, sorry, my rectangle and then I click onto the polyline and then that's produced a solid, as you can see. And I can select those now. Select the uh, select the sweep. I can take that over there, and there I've got a solid. Okay, so it's as simple as that. So, you know, sometimes when you uh, when you have a problem, rather than keep battling away trying to find out what you've done wrong, it's perhaps a good idea to stand back and think. Well, I wonder if there's another way of producing this. And I think on this case that that's it because. You know, you can spend a lot of time worrying what's going wrong here, whereas, as you can see there, you know, one minute and you've solved the problem just by going another way around. Uh, that's it. That's the sweep. Have a go.